Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, Windows VST plugins with LMMS. Uh, for this purpose, you will need to have uh, Wine uh, Stable uh, installed, and um, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check and install the proper version for your system. If you have a 64, if you're using a 64-bit uh, machine, then you need to uh, enable the 32-bit uh, architecture as well, because most VSTs are 32-bit uh, available out there. So next, um, I'm going to do this. I'm using uh, L the latest version of LMMS, which is still in beta. So. Yeah, it does crash a lot, but uh, the older version used to, to crash as well. So if you're still using the old version, I'm putting a link in the description to show you how to install and integrate Vestige. Vestige is... Uh, okay, this is Vestige. Uh, we need Vestige for... Sorry. Okay. We need Vestige to play our uh, VST plugins. And Vestige is simply fantastic. I mean, it's wonderful. But anyway, uh, if you install the latest version, which is, as I said, is still in beta, but it's uh, pretty stable, you just need to keep saving your work all the time. And about, okay. So this is 1.2.0. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can download it um, directly from <coughs> LMMS. I don't think this version is available in the software manager. Um, I'm now using Linux Mint. So Linux Mint doesn't have the latest version available uh, to download uh, from the software manager. This is what I believe. So let's check it. Yeah, you still have the old version, which, as I said before, if you don't feel confident with that, you can uh, install the old version of LMMS. And I put a link to a step-by-step -step guide I did pre previously on how to um, in install uh, Vestige and integrate it with the, uh, the, oldest, uh, the older version of LMMS. Now, <clears throat> so for now we're using the, the beta version. So we got Vestige. The first thing you need to do here is go to Edit, Settings, and you have a folder here with all the directories. So look for VST plugin directory here and just navigate to your uh, drive, um, sorry, OneDrive uh, folder. So I show you mine just in case you don't have it yet. You can see mine. I put a <clears throat> so something, okay, I, I, I'm going to spend a couple of words about Wine because it's very, very important that um, you understand. If you're new to Linux, you need to understand that it's important that you uh, get rid of all the previous versions before you install Wine Stable. So if you got, especially the, um, the meta package um, and all the previous versions of Wine, I mean, just get rid of them if you don't, if you want to know. Uh, the easiest way to do it, I mean, yes, you can use the sudo app to get purge in the terminal, but um, if you're new to Linux and you're not very confident with using the terminal, you can just type wine in the software manager and just uh, uninstall everything related to it. So when you see the, the check, it means that it's been installed. Okay, play on Linux is something completely different, so you don't need to uninstall it. But wine tricks, yes. Uh, and in my case, I already have wine stable, but anyway, whatever is related to wine, just get rid of it to make sure that you don't get any unmet dependencies, which is a conflict with uh, libraries, you know. So if, so if you have different versions of wine, they just don't integrate well um, with each other. And also, unlike Windows in Linux, when you install a new program, you must get rid of the previous one. So you have to uninstall everything related to the previous one. <coughs> All the library, libraries and new packages will be installed together uh, with one stable. Now, once you've done that, then you will lose your... Uh, don't panic, but you will lose your 
directory in the menu and so the only way to get it back is to install wine tricks once more so you will you will get your directory there back there but you won't be able to to see your your files so what i did is i put a link on the desktop because i use it quite often and this is my wine virtual drive as you can see uh, we need a drive C, then if you open drive C, I've already got a few folders here, and then program files x86, this is for the 32-bit um, files, so if I open it, i got a lot of stuff here, but what I'm interested in is uh, a folder named Steinberg, and inside I have VST plugins. Okay, and here I keep all the, my uh, Windows plugins because they are 22 bit. And you, as you can see, what you need, you will need later is uh, 22 dot DLL. Uh, that's the executable for Vestige. Anyway, now next thing that we're going to do, we're going to download um, VST instrument. Uh, okay, here we got just a, a small one. Okay, so we can just download um, EVM Grand Piano. So, okay, click download. Uh, I've already done it because I'm in Cambodia, so my connection is not great. So this is already in my uh, download folder. Yeah, there. And the next thing that you need to do... Okay, I already have it, but anyway. EVM Grand Piano, so just uh, drag the file into your uh, virtual drive, whatever, whatever folder you want to use um, <clears throat> to have your your VST instruments and plugins in. Uh, just make sure that is inside uh, Wine Drive C Program Files x86. Okay, and then you can call it. Uh, mine is called the Steinberg because it's the guy who actually created VSTs but you can call it whatever you wish. And so now that we have EVM Grand Piano VST, now I just extract here. Okay, it's been extracted. Now I can get rid of the compressed folder. We don't need it anymore. And let's see, what EVM Grand Piano. Okay, I have two because I'm going to get rid of one because I did that previously. I was testing it. So EVM Grand Piano, so most VSTs work, but if you happen to, to, yeah, to find a VST that doesn't work with this system, then don't waste your time, just uh, download another one, because unfortunately uh, not everything works here. So okay, you, you might run into VSTs which are totally not compatible with this system, so just don't waste your time. Okay, next thing now we're going to uh, go back to LMMS. Okay, here we go, Vestige. Click on Vestige. Then click on the green folder here. And that was called EVM Piano. Where is it? Here. EVM Grand Piano DLL. I double click on this. Okay. And I wait a second or a few seconds. It depends how, how big your file is for the grand piano to load and now here it is sounds pretty good okay and once you're done there you're done you can add as many uh, vst as you wish you just you know i i made you some some music and I use so many VSTs, I mean, but I love them. But what I suggest you to do, so then once you're there, you just open, okay, and you can start making your music. Okay, for example, I'm not making music, I'm just showing you how to do it. And then keep saving your work. Just keep saving. Okay, music, I'm going to call this test. Okay, save. Okay, 
just keep saving your work because as I said before uh, this program tends to crash so just to make sure and the previous one as well so um, just keep saving and saving and saving every every few minutes because otherwise you might lose your work and this is all for today I hope you have enjoyed uh, subscribe for more if you're interested and have a nice day Thank you.